check in with Quincy Mayor Thomas Koch for our City Hall update. And, Mayor, this will be the last one for July 2021, actually. Wow. I know. Jeez. August 1st, this coming Sunday. Unbelievable. It really is. It's flying by. It is now. I mean, it, for for a while, they have, you, know, you go back to, you know, March or so, it seemed like that year <laughs> just dragged. But then then all of a sudden, just back to the old, uh, you know, on the treadmill, just flies by. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, Which is good and bad. Uh, that's right. No, that's right. How is your summer going so far? It's going well. I was able to have a little time off last week, so uh, first time in about 16 months. Yeah. It was nice. Uh, we as a family were together for the first time in a long time, so yeah. it was uh, it was nice, really that, nice. That is nice. It's, it's always nice to get a break. It's very important, too, we've learned over the past year and a half or so um, during the pandemic uh, and now with uh, another bump, I guess, or blurp or surge, as they're saying. There's concern about school coming up in the fall. Um, what is your concern about that for Quincy? I'm not overly concerned at this point. Um, you know, this... This has been a roller coaster ride. This whole process, and um, you know, I think we made incredible advances on physically the buildings, just the air systems. Last year, we spent millions on the buildings, and uh, they're in great, great shape. So, um, you know, I, th- I think we're in as good a shape as any district. Uh, we'll watch it closely, see what happens. But you know, and, unless the state tells us otherwise, I'm inclined that you know kids go to school without masks on, and let's get back to normal. So full in person, no masks. That's that's my opinion. I'm yeah. only one of seven on the school committee. Right. Keep that in mind. Yep. Uh, the superintendent, and his team, may have recommendations, and then certainly the Department of Education yeah. may have recommendations. But uh, you know, I, we we've seen throughout this, and I and I get the whole deal about transmitting, but generally the kids aren't the ones that have been getting sick. Mm-hmm. And and I just I just think that um, though I think there's some folks that you know thought. Remote learning was tremendous the whole bit. I, I don't necessarily agree with that. I th- I think the kids that would excel in class anyway probably will find remote. I think the average kid, I know I always look at myself saying if I was back in high school, I would not be thriving uh, in, on remote. And I, and I would suggest two out of my three kids would not have been thriving under the remote. Mm-hmm. So I think for the average kid, um, I, I think uh, in person is far better. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, these are my opinions. I mean, there's a lot of other opinions out there, yeah, but... Uh, yeah. That's just how I feel. What about a um, uh, vaccine uh, mandate for educators, you know, school staff? I just don't believe in mandates on okay. that stuff. I just don't. I mean, it's uh, we enjoy a lot of freedom in this country. People get to use, you know, their judgment. There's people with other health issues that it may be a problem with for, or, um, mm-hmm. you know. So the flip side is if they, if an educator does not want to get vaccinated, then I don't have any sympathy for them if they want to go remote. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, you can't have it both ways. You know, speaking of vaccines, is there any plan for if if a vaccine is approved for twelve and under to do that in the schools, uh, offered in the schools at least? Well, I mean, those are decisions uh, by the health experts. Okay. Um, I'm just um, look. I'm I'm 58. I wasn't worried about side effects with a vaccine. Mm-hmm. And as we know, and I'm not one of these conspiracy theorist guys at all, but as we know, this 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 process was far faster than any process they've used before. Mm-hmm. So obviously, if there are any uh, side effects from this, and I know there have been some some side effects on some of the shots, and I forget off off the top made which ones, Joe. But uh, if a young person, if, if all of a sudden there's a side effect that has a lifelong effect on them, that you know that would concern me. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, there's a lot of people who make a lot more money and have a, a much better background in the health world than I do, um, and uh, we'll continue to monitor it and see what the experts and the scientists and medical community have to say. Mm-hmm. The Quincy, uh, last I checked uh, two days ago, uh, has an uh, over 66% vaccination rate, which is even higher than statewide average. Um, so it's in very good shape. Absolutely. And, I, you know, again, I go back to the partnership with with the Manic Community Health and, and all the programs that the others did as well, BI and, and uh, you know, South Cove and you know, everybody worked it and worked it and worked it. And, uh, and, I, and, and as you know, we had that special relationship with Cynthia mm-hmm. uh, at the Wisconsin Street site and then, of course, the old Colony Avenue site. And it worked out very, very well. So certainly pleased with the progress in the city of Quincy. Sure. Let's talk about uh, some upcoming uh, fun stuff, Mayor. Love to do that. <laughs> How's the ceremony for the September 11th dedication coming along? Well, we're now getting into the real details. Yeah. Uh, it's... Uh, 
going to be a fun day again for for those that may not recall. It's, we're having it on Saturday, in the twentieth anniversary of nine eleven. So it'll be ten o'clock in the morning, uh, right at the corner of Dunford and McConville Drive. We'll have a lot more to say in the coming weeks on directions where to park mm-hmm. and what streets will be blocked, all those kinds of things. But uh, it's there's a lot of excitement building. I certainly in the veterans community, certainly the families and and relatives and friends of the generals. Um, we're getting a lot of uh, good feedback from people, and I know there's folks that have walked through the area to see what's there so far of the park. I mean, everything is there except the the statues at this point and the uh, bronze bus. So um, it's all coming together nicely. We got a great team uh, here in my office, and and certainly extended beyond that with some of my departments that are working on this. It's going to be a great, great day for the city. One of those memorable historic days uh and i know i've compared in the past to the hancock adams common uh in my lifetime i think it's going to be in in along those lines certainly mm-hmm. crowd wise and i think importance historically when was the actual general's bridge open to vehicular traffic how's that going to work it may not open till that day oh okay yeah i, I think that the bridge itself will be pretty much done uh in our conversations with mass dot yeah, we know they're probably a punch list that they'll have several months to work through. Um, you know how that goes with construction, Joe. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have that with any project that we do, whether it's a building or a roadway. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of roadway work going on as we speak, which yeah. is great. But so, I but the majority, if, if, you know, it should be 95, 99 percent done. So physically, the bridge could be opened uh, for business, I assume, and then they'll chip away at whatever those punch list items may be. Will there be kind of a, a ceremonial first drive like there was for the, the Hannon Parkway? With well, the... that's, those are the kind of things we're kicking around now, Okay. Um, how best to do this. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, okay. we'll see. Okay. Uh, later on, uh, there's still plenty of celebrations. There's the Food Truck Festival coming up. Uh, and there's talk, I know, of kind of a, a Heritage Days Festival or event at least. Yeah, I mean, the, it, we're getting back into the swing of things, yeah. which is great. Uh, absolutely. And Bob Damon is more work with Bob is our heritage director and of course Dagny is our tourism director. And they've been working together on the heritage days with along with the number of the historic sites and the people that man the sites. Um I, I think it's nice to renew, refresh for the people that live around here what we have in our backyard, uh, for people to enjoy, of course. Uh the truck festival was a huge hit a couple of years ago. Yep the Food Truck Festival with the music over in Coddington Street. August Moon Festival is going to be August 15th yep. uh, with the Quincy Asian Resources. So we're getting back to uh, to some normalcy, which is awesome. Absolutely, yeah. The, um, as you know, Chris Cassani has uh, since left uh, any any replacement to announce yet? Ed Grennan. Oh, okay. Ed has been the uh, assistant down there on the admin side for a number of years now. Um, he's one of those... Uh, Kuzi guys went through the rec program, mm-hmm. went off, got his education, come back. He's been working in that department. Everybody loves Ed, does an incredible job, knows the systems. I think him and Ali, the traffic and engi- engineer, are going to be an incredible team, um, uh, you know, continuing to move that department forward. So we certainly are happy for Ed. Very good. Always good to talk to you, Mayor. Appreciate your time. Well, stay cool, Joseph. Yes, you as well. All right. Thank you. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Yep, bye-bye. Quincy Mayor Thomas Koch, our weekly City Hall update here on AM Quincy.